what do you do if somebody is infringing your intellectual property? So they're infringing your trademark, they're using the same name as your business name, uh, maybe they're copying parts of your course, what do you do? The first thing to do is to make sure that you actually do have the intellectual property rights. So check to see you've got your trademark registered. Uh, having a business name is not the same thing as having a trademark registered. If you only have a business name and don't have a trademark, then you might be in a bit of trouble. Um, if you're claiming that they're infringing your copyright in, say, a course you've developed, check to make sure that you own the copyright in that course. How do you do that? Well, when you created the course, was it original content that you used or did you get that content from somewhere else? Did you use images you found on the internet and don't actually have a license for? Because if you don't own the intellectual property, then there's not much you can do. If you discover you maybe don't own the intellectual property, that's something that you can brainstorm with me, book in for a, um, the legal hotline uh, phone chat with me. It's not very expensive, but we can explore that point. So assuming that your intellectual property is secured, you've got your trademark registered, or you're, you're confident that you own the copyright in whatever's being copied, the next thing is to let the infringer know. Now, most people like to do this informally, and it's fine as long as you don't go overboard with this initial uh, contact. And so I prefer that you do something that is as brief as possible. The more you say, the more likely you are to get yourself in hot water. So something like, hi, I'm not sure if you know, but I own the trademark, uh, the legal INS. I have it registered. This is the trademark registered, um, registered number. Here is the link to the trademarks register. Please stop using it. And generally, that could be enough to get them to stop using it, unless there's a complicating factor. And so this happened to me actually when um, with Acacia Law, another lawyer <laughs> started using the name Acacia uh, my the, the law firm name that I have registered is Acacia, not Acacia Law, it was just Acacia. And this lady was using Acacia Family Lawyers. I wrote to her, and just like I've described, and she came back with a very rude reply saying, the Law Society said I could use this name. I went back to her and I explained to her that Law Society doesn't govern uh, the use of trademarks, and I recommended that she take advice from an IP lawyer. She then wrote back to me and said, oh, I've decided to change my name because it's too much trouble, which actually meant that she now had realized she couldn't use my registered trademark. Now, have I got a client called Coach Curl, Tony Curl? He's agreed that I can share this story with you. He had a trademark registered, or he has a trademark registered, Coach Curl. Somebody started using it. He sent the email that I've just described. And she came back really rudely and said, um, you're a coach, you should be supporting young people in business and I've just started my business. It, it, it was just a real, a very strange, weird rant. And um, so he came to me and what we decided was I would send a stern letter of demand explaining to her that she could not keep her Twitter handle, she could not keep her Facebook name, all of that belonged to my client as the registered trademark owner. And I sent that to her, recommended she got an IP lawyer. Her IP lawyer emailed me back and immediately she changed her Twitter, changed her Facebook, took her website down, took all references to Coach Curl off social media. And so sometimes if you send an initial response yourself as the intellectual property owner, you will get a good result, and many of my clients have. Occasionally, you will get that result like we got with Coach Curl, where they pushed back a little bit, and in that situation, it is best to get a letter from um, your lawyer, who is an IP expert, because that just um, tells them exactly what your rights are, and usually that can be the end of the matter. Copyright can drag on a little bit more, because it's not as well defined as trademarks. But if you're having a problem with this, I do recommend don't leave it. The longer you leave it, the more difficult it is to fix. Uh, 
if you send an initial um, message and you don't get the result that you want, seek advice from an expert in that particular field uh, so that you don't have problems later down the track. And less is more, don't say too much because if you do say too much, you might actually end up um, inadvertently saying something that can be used against you later. Remember, silence is golden. Uh, and as the Americans say, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Yes, um, it's best just to be talk about the bare facts and don't say too much because you never know what can be used against you. Good luck with it.